everyone, my name is Tia Line and today we talk about the anniversary jubilee event in the Elder Scrolls Online. As always, you find timestamps in the video description and also a guide on my website. Usually, the anniversary jubilee event takes place at the beginning of April, after the Justice Festival. Our first step is to obtain the extra special and super tasty jubilee cake. Open the crown store. And here we can find the event quest starter for the anniversary jubilee event. Start the event quest egg for cake which will help you to obtain our jubilee cake. Now we have to visit Chef Donolon. You will find him at the dockyards of Devon's Watch and Stone Falls, at the docks in Vulcagard in Auridon or in the northern harbour district of Daggerfall in Clenumbra. You can visit any of the locations regardless of your alliance. Once you have spoken to Donalon, you need to acquire the ingredients for the cake. In case you do not already own the ingredients, you need to obtain one banana, three flour and two honey. All the ingredients are placed around Chef Donalon and you just have to pick them up. Of course, you can also buy the needed ingredients with gold from the grocer or guild traders. After you return to Chef Donalon and successfully completed the quest, you will get the Jubilee Cake Memento. Each year you can obtain a new and a unique cake. To use the Jubilee cake you have to open your collections, go to tools and then click on the Jubilee cake memento. This will summon the Jubilee cake. Eat from the cake and the Jubilee cake will grant you a double XP bar for 2 hours during the event. Note that you can get for each year a new and slightly different looking cake. And don't forget that you have to reapply the double XP buff every 2 hours. During the Anniversary Jubilee event, you can earn Jubilee gift boxes for completing any daily or weekly repeatable quest anywhere in ESO. These gift boxes can provide unique rewards like Bone Mold style pages, Stable Keel Panoply style pages, crafting materials, recipes, transmutation crystals, style items and valuable motive pages. In the past years, we had a chance to find motive chapters from over 40 different crafting motives in the Jubilee gift boxes. The style pages which you will find inside Anniversary gift boxes are tradable. That means you are able to sell or buy the style pages at the guild traders for gold too. As said earlier, you can earn Jubilee gift boxes from daily repeatable quests. You can find hundreds of different daily repeatable quests in the Elder Scrolls Online. Daily repeatable quests are easily identified by green quest markers and there is also a note in your quest journal. There are daily repeatable quests available for all kinds of content. You can complete crafting, pvp, dungeons, arena, npc guilds, zone dailies and more. On my website you can find helpful articles to guide you to the different dailies across Tamriel. You can prepare daily repeatable quests in advance to earn extra jubilee gift boxes. I usually prepare the daily crafting quest for the Anniversary Jubilee event. That means a day before the event starts, I pick up and prepare daily pre requests but don't hand them in. Like that, I can complete as soon as the Anniversary Jubilee event starts, multiple dailies and can complete even more since you can do the dailies of that day too. That means you can earn a lot X2 Anniversary Jubilee gift boxes. Of course, you can prepare all kind of daily pre requests if you like to do so. You can also earn 3 event tickets per day per account during the Anniversary Jubilee event. Just use the Cake Memento and eat a piece of cake and you will get your 3 event tickets. The Impresario Event Merchant also opens a shop during the Anniversary Jubilee event. This year you can purchase Bone Mold style pages for 5 event tickets each. Also you can buy a replica Jubilee cake furnishing if you earn the related Egg for Cake quest achievement and obtain the Anniversary Cake Memento. Each cake furnishing costs 3 event tickets. Furthermore, you can buy Passion Dancer Blossom Pet Fragments, Meadow Breeze Memory Skin Fragments and more. Several rewards from previous Anniversary Jubilee events can no longer be found in Anniversary Jubilee gift boxes. These rewards are now included in the bag of Jubilee yesteryear which you can purchase for 3 event tickets from the Impresario event merchant. Inside the back of Jubilee yesteryear, you can find following style pages. Warm Cold Style, Jeffrey Paladin Style, 
Imperial Champion Style, Wofford Style, Abnothan Style, Dicer Han Style and Lyris Titanborn Style. I will link showcases of these styles in the video description. Any items you buy from the Impresario with event tickets will be bound to your account and you can't trade them. The Aurora Firepot Spider Pet Fragments are also included in the Back of Jubilee yesteryear. To unlock the Aurora Firepot Spider Pet, you need to collect in total 4 fragments. 3 fragments, the front legs, rear legs and the Firepot may be found in Back of Jubilee yesteryear. In the final 4th fragment, the Aurora Firepot Spider Instructions, which is necessary to combine the pet, is sold by the Impresario's assistant. You can find Empresario's assistant videos to me at any Empresario's tent. The Intrigue Vendor will also open her shop during the Anniversary Jubilee event. She offers during the second quarter of 2023 Nesten Intrigue Feathers, Luminous Intrigue Berries and Ice Breath Intrigue Berries. You can also purchase the Shimmering Intrigue Pet and the Rim Dusk Intrigue Pet. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time. Toodles!